Melpa friends, it's Michelle with another installment of Melted Mixology for you today. This is um, a series where we go through the brand new scents in the catalog, one each week, and I suggest some mixes for you to try with other current available catalog scents. We are focusing today on Huckleberry Hideaway. We have already covered, can I do it? Black Currant and Plum, Blackberry Spice, Crayon Apple Crumble, Falling Apples, and Frosted Vanilla. I think that covers what we've done so far. Yes. All right. And so today's Huckleberry Hideaway and so on. We will do per Perfect Day, Sips of Cider, Velvet Moon, all the rest of them, one each week. So today is the focus. The focus is... Huckleberry Hideaway. And the scent notes in Huckleberry Hideaway, I believe, is Huckleberry, Violet, and White Woods. So, we're looking for something that mixes with that. I had a little bit harder time this week finding mixes, um, but I do have six mixes to suggest, and one um, runner-up, I guess, but let's talk about that one first. Graham Cracker Crunch goes with everything. It's like sugar cookie. It's like vanilla bean buttercream. Just put anything with it, and it's probably going to be good. <laughs> so, that's the runner-up. It's not a voting option because we're just going to consider Graham Cracker Crunch at this point good with anything. If I find that it's not good with something. I will let you know, though. Okay, so the ones I'm going to suggest here. Let's start with Luna. If you're familiar with Luna, this is just a light um, floral kind of scent, but definitely not offensive floral. It's a popular scent and has been in the catalog for probably over a decade, to be honest. I would bet over a decade. So mixing Huckleberry Hideaway, the one thing about Luna is it's light. And oddly enough, I feel like Huckleberry Hideaway kind of brings it out a little more. It strengthened Luna, and I still get Luna, but I also get like the violet and a sweet Huckleberry note. Not so much on woods, it's there, but just a very tiny amount. But it's great. Yeah, it's, it's. I think Luna kind of helps bring out the violet and the violet brings out the Luna, you know, and adds that sweet huckleberry note in there. So yeah, that's my first suggestion. Next is, no, we're saving that one. <laughs> saving that one. Uh. Cashmere and corduroy. That's what we'll do next. Just my messy handwriting. Nothing fancy to see. Um, cashmere and corduroy. Okay. So, cashmere and corduroy is kind of a warm, cozy, almost body care type scent. And mixing the Huckleberry Hideaway with it kind of cuts down a little bit of that, like, body care note. But at the same time, it adds like a warmness and a depth to it. And it makes a nice kind of warm, cozy scent. I don't know that I specifically get Huckleberry from it, but it's just like a warmness that it adds. Recommend that one. Next. I have a feeling a bunch of you are going to love this. Cider Mill. What? Yes, I tried melting with Cider Mill. I've probably tried several, actually. So, to me, Cider Mill is really spicy. If it's spicy for you, mix it with some Huckleberry Hideaway. It kind of cuts that spice. Not that it's completely gone. It's still there. It's still noticeable. But it's got that sweetness to it now from the huckleberry. Which I think kind of rounds out the scent, honestly. Um, it makes it more than just 
a pumpkin apple spice scent, which you can get anywhere, right? Yeah. Kind of adds that sweet huckleberry note. I don't really get the floral, the violet, you know, from it. It just adds that sweetness from the huckleberry. Okay, next we'll do By the Sea. Um, so a lot of fresh lovers, fresh scent lovers, <laughs> like By the Sea, and I'm a fresh scent lover, but By the Sea is too much for me. It's a little on the masculine side, like cologne. It's kind of too salty, all of that. And adding that huckleberry note in there calms down that like cologne type note that I get and it brings out more of the fresh part of it to my nose I guess because maybe that violet and that wood and then it adds that sweetness again yeah I very impressed I'm probably gonna be melting that the rest of the season <laughs> and uh, next we're saving that one last <laughs> white amber antique Another heavy, cologne, woody type scent, right? But add some Huckleberry Hideaway in there and they are blending really well. They are getting along. I put here 50-50. You get 50% Huckleberry Hideaway, 50% White Amber Teak. So if the woody cologne note from White Amber and Teak is too much for you, definitely give it a try with Huckleberry Hideaway. Yes, Huckleberry Hideaway has that woody note, but it brings, it really cuts that woodiness, <laughs> that wood teak note can be really sharp. I think that's why I don't care for it. Um, those cologne notes, just really sharp to the nose. Um, it cuts that, and again, it, it kind of adds a little bit of warmness to it and a little sweetness at the same time. Definite try. And last but not least, everyone's beloved Huckleberry Hideaway. I'm not Huckleberry Hideaway. Winterberry Apple Tea. That's what I meant. <laughs> Jeez. I'm not re-recording this and I'm not cutting that out. Winterberry Apple Tea. My messy handwriting. Oh, this is so good. This is my favorite out of the mixes so when I walked into the room that this was warming in I was like it almost smells like a candy shop but not like a store candy shop kind of like I mean a, a mall candy shop it's kind of like where where they're actually making candy it's kind of got that warm sugary note to it like wow but it's warm it's kind of still got that fall vibe you know going on in there i don't know how else to explain it you should try this one winterberry apple tea with huckleberry hideaway all right that wraps it up and i will see you well, I'll see you again. I guess Wednesday. Every Wednesday, I have the weekly meltdown, weekly wax meltdown. And next Saturday, I'll have the next installment. We will be going over Perfect Day. That one should be really interesting. I was trying to have these done like two weeks ahead of time, and I fell behind. So I haven't even done Perfect Day just yet. So stay tuned for that. And like I said, every Wednesday, thank you all for watching. And let me know what you're most excited for. Uh, trying down in the comments below. And I will eventually get some voting information to you so we can all start voting on our favorites in these mixes and crown the winner. All right. Have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you.